Hey, it's Vlad, co-founder of Banani. And in this video, I will give you a quick overview of how you can use our platform to generate any design. Any design or project will start from your text prompt, explanation of the design that you need. It can be as detailed as you want, so you can mention specific elements on the screen that you want to generate, styles, information about your users, such as their user persona, preferences, and so on. Or it can be like very simple. You can just say, I need a home screen for my food delivery app. Here we put some example prompts and you can click around to see them. For now, let's select a setting page and hit generate. Once you enter the prompt, you are taken to the canvas screen. On the left side, there is a panel with list of your screens. For now, there's only one screen. Under there is a styling panel. And on the right side is prompt box, where you can communicate with our AI to edit and generate new screens. As you can see, our first setting screen was generated and you can navigate on the canvas by using your touchpad and moving with two fingers. Or if you use using mouse, you can click and drag the canvas and navigate this way. You can also use your plus and minus keys on the keyboard to zoom in and zoom out. And you can do this as well through this panel on top. And as you can see, it generated a setting screen with all of the requested elements that we wanted. But let's say our app is using sidebar navigation and I want to change it from the top navigation that we have here. To do this, make sure that you've selected the screen on the canvas or from the layers panel and go to the editing area and type edit that you need. In my case, I can type change top menu to sidebar menu. Hit enter or click generate edits and our AI will try to understand what do you want to change and apply those edits without you doing any manual actions. Here, as you can see, it changed the navigation. Let's say you want to play around with your styles. You can select colors to customize uh, like green and you can change the font uh, of the app that is displayed in the design. On the right side, there is a versions panel. You can switch between previously generated versions and compare, compare them. As you can see in the older one, we still have top navigation. And you can actually edit previous version if you like them just by selecting and once again using prompt box. But for now, let's revert to this one. Uh, when you're happy with the screen that you generated, you can actually generate next screens in user flow. There are a couple options to do this. Firstly, you can click new screen on the right side in the flow. You can click plus here as well. But another thing you can do is you can click any clickable element on the design. For example, save changes button. Banani tries to understand what will happen from the user perspective when they click certain elements on generated design and generate state that will happen once user made that interaction. In our case, when user clicks saves button. Here, as you can see, it added changes saved successfully state, just like what happened in the real product. And after you generated all of the screens that you need, or if you want to just preview them, you can press play button and it will open a full screen preview mode focused on your designs. You can click through them and here you can see our small prototype. You can share this prototype with your teammates when you're happy by clicking the share button and they will have exact same view where they can click around through screens. Another thing you can do is you can share link to your canvas. You can click share on the canvas and copy link. And in this case, link will allow users to scroll around like we do right now, but without all of those panels. Finally, you can export your designs. Right now we support uh, two ways of exporting. You can export your design as images or you can export them to Figma. Finally, to manage your projects, there are a couple of things that you can do. You can rearrange the screens in the user flow. Let's say you want to display this state before this screen. So you can actually hover over the screen and drag it on top of the previous screen. And you can do this when you have a lot of screens and you need to organize them. And if, if you want to delete some specific screen, you can click on 
the three dots and hit delete. I think this covers most of the parts that you need to start generating designs, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out through the support. I'd be happy to help you and happy designing with Banani.